Leslie Ann Evans is a Belfast-born poet who is published and awarded. She writes from the contemplative woodland retreat Feeney Wood in Kelowna, British Columbia. Leslie Ann's debut poetry collection, Mute Swan, was published by the St. Thomas Poetry Series in Toronto in November 2021, so it's pretty fresh. Described as a striking feminist book, Mute Swan is a revival of voice and spirit. And uh, perhaps, Leslie Ann, you could put some of your contacts, your social contacts, into the chat box after you read for us. Sure, I'd love to do that. Thank you so much, Josephine. Um, Thank you. Unlike Katerina, this is my first time here with the Parkland Poets. It's such an honor. I, I want to thank um, Lisa, Josephine, Angela, and Stephanie for your warm welcome. And also to Susan McCaslin, who introduced me to your group and invited me to reach out to you. So um, I will be reading tonight from uh, Mute Swan. And I'll, I'll put some information in the chat after my reading. Uh, one of the poems, the, the, um, the central poem, I'll be reading three, does have some sensitive con uh, content and um, it uh, looks at um, difficulties with um, self-harm, with um, experiences of substances. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to mention that before we begin. So I'm going to take a little journey through the book, um, one poem from the first half and then two in the second half. And the first one I'm going to share with you is called Revelation of the Sacred Hip Bone. When I was finally able to read the scriptures for myself, I discovered, behold, there were women. Sue Monk Kid, The Book of Longings. Surely there is room for my body in your image. Please don't tell me otherwise. Mary's dark night, the birth of holiness through her flesh. Surely this is blood sacrifice. Love is Eve's last rite, though I do not know for sure. I look for a way to say more than a half truth. There are those who say they know, but I don't trust them. When I say I feel you, I'm on the leading edge. A herd of swine rushes over a cliff. Am I responsible for carnage? So I stay silent, I practice. I have come and gone through back doors of chapels, drop-in centers, my garden shed, looking for you. I have raved, wept, sought new evidence. I am a worker bee, longing for you, my queen, to be fed on royal jelly, safe within wax cell oblivion. You come to me, lay a wild current in my mouth. I sleep. Earth is satisfied with my tongue. Feed me, Mother God. Wall me in the lush courtyard of your lap. I am a toddler reaching for your chin, turning your face with sticky fingers. Look, mama, look at me. There I go again, making up stories. I write a line of words and they are your embrace, beloved. I'm a child come home to supper at your table and the fullness of the whole earth is Rosa Ragosa's glory. I imagine you approve. I echo your laugh. I am all yours. Inhale, exhale, spirit wind. Carry me in the blue air. Your hands are a summer's day, wide and warm as you catch me. Your face is a crowd, each smile line is a pilgrim path, a holy well. The second poem is called, When My Fingers Thaw, So Does My Heart. Everything is holy. The toothless mouth of the crackhead is holy. The whore's kiss is holy. 
last breath of the Odeed saint is holy. Words of despair, parallel scars on the arms, gray cloud lid, air cold, enough to freeze his hands again are holy. The ice rinks gleam after Zamboni's last pass. Skaters embrace, teetering first tries, children in helmets, lit trees and fire pits, winter hats over parking meters, scarves wrapping trees, snow wrapping tent city, all holy. Last call for alcohol, drunk at the Christmas party, girl curled in vomit, all are holy. Anti-abortion activists outside the hospital on Tuesdays, a siren scream, a dreamer's dream, mountains containing valley, containing people in happiness and in sorrow, all are holy. Holy life and death and resurrection. Everything is death and life and resurrection. Now, everything is. In the central poem of the book, Triumphant Arrival of the Mute Swan. Mute is your name. Imagine having no voice, a curse we feel and reach for our throats in empathy. Mute is an assumption, divine and otherwise. Mute is a way to manage a message. Mute rage is yours for what has been denied. Here now, you arrive as promised, glorious white fire, we cannot look away. Your bones are hollow reeds, your neck is an elegant curve of longing and consummation. You protect what you love. Do you love yourself, a word, a lover? Or signets you ferry, off white drifts of snow? You upend all we think we know. We did not see your identity until now, mute swan. You are Maria, her yes, her understated way of magnifying the divine and asking nothing for herself. At least this is the way it is written. You are Eve, first woman banned and blamed along traditional fault lines. You are spirit, ruach, Aramaic feminine, the voice of one calling in the wilderness, make a way for us all. In all, mute swan, you have a voice. One has to wonder at the misnaming. Each time your song roars forth, a curse ruptures. You are mystery, you are us. Audacious in loving the holy present, in finding ways to speak of it. How blatant you appear to us now that we are you. How raucous to proclaim our theories to the wide sky. The sound of our wings heard a mile away. Thank you. <laughs>